There was no big showbiz entrance. This was Donald Trump getting down to business. Friends, delegates, and fellow Americans, I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. He spoke for more than an hour. He spoke from a prompter. This was not the free-range Donald Trump of presidential primaries. This was a man who wants to be president. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo as long as we are led by politicians who will not put America first, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. The speech hammered home the principle of law and order, both in the US and abroad. It was strong on themes and emotion, listing what he saw as democratic failures and who was to blame. Iraq is in chaos. Iran is on the path to nuclear weapons. Syria is engulfed in a civil war, and a refugee crisis now threatens the West. This is the legacy of Hillary Clinton. In four words, Trump explained why his popularity has grown and why people support him. I am your voice. The reaction from the delegates in the hall was largely positive. I think it's a home run. He had it out of the park. He, he laid bare all the problems of the Obama Clinton years. I went to this convention, still not sure how I felt about Trump, but now I am rock solid behind him. This is a great moment to unify the party. There are people who will consider this speech very dark, very negative. But Donald Trump knows it has to go beyond this hall to the independents and the wavering Democrats, the people who will decide this election. Donald Trump's ascendancy in the Republican Party has been a remarkable, unlikely story. I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. Now he's planning to write a new chapter, one entitled How I Won the White House. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio.